So, looks like we got another Unreal Engine 5 issue relating to Silent Hill F. Unfortunately, with these mobile processors, the obviously we're going to be covering the ROG Ally with Silent Hill F. So, in general, I did a video a while back. I was, for whatever reason, using PowerDirector because that was the only alternative. But continuing, the lighting was not being properly like processed. So, with a lot of these mobile chips and uh, garbage ass Unreal Engine 5 and Lumen. This is going to be a major problem. It, in, like anything that's a mobile chip is going to have problems. You, you know, not not like everything. Obviously, consoles don't count because they're already optimized and fit like ready to go. But when it comes to computers and tablets and phones, you're going to run into this issue. Obviously, what you're seeing on screen is different games with Unreal Engine 5 and when it's on a mobile chip the lighting does not get prop the there's missing lighting elements and so what ends up happening is when it's on a mobile processor with Unreal Engine 5 and Lumen as far as one of my friends told me last night it, like it might be a memory issue or it might be intentional but i think it's both intentional at the same time it's a bug so today's video is going to be covering that yet again with Silent Hill F. Now, if you go, it's linked down in the description. Very important. You're going to need uh, to download the this file. So it's on my archive account. And dragging this into the internal contents of the game will ultimately fix the issue that obviously with the lighting. And I'm also going to be covering, like, I'm going to be basically not only just showing you guys... In, this is going to be across the board with any Unreal Engine 5 game with Lumen and everything, including Kronos and New Dawn. Would It would fix that. I don't think that's a major issue. You don't notice it as much. And, of course, Silent Hill F, you don't notice it as much. It took me a minute for me to realize something looked a little odd. Anyway, continuing. This will cover the, the problems that, with the lighting, you... It's as simple as that. So, otherwise, let's get started. So, you notice that these two files are currently right here. I did do a voiceover with the, my iPhone, but obviously the echoey. So, I'm now redoing a, a voiceover. So, you see the two files at the top corner on the right. We're going to go right ahead and launch Silent Hill F. A couple things I want you to pay attention to is obviously the start menu. Pay attention to the lighting in the start menu. We're going to go right ahead and continue the game. So, like I said previously, it took me a minute to notice something was a little bit off. I did have all the settings maxed out, and I was wondering why I was able to max out all the settings. So, right now it's currently on high. We're going to go ahead and just set the lumen to at least on epic there's a reason why and again pay attention to the frame rate as well i'm going to try and edit it as best as i can so you guys can notice the frame rate like long story short you'll you'll notice a 10 fps difference so another thing to pay attention to and i'm going to be doing a comparison is obviously the like the lumen the the lighting in the shop here so it's not supposed to look like that and this is a major problem with Unreal Engine 5 games and the Lumen Engine. So, obviously, if you see the current lighting with the fix versus the lighting without the fix, obviously, you're going to notice a huge difference. Really annoying, I may add. Unreal Engine 5, Epic Games, come on now. Why are we just dissecting our own games? Anyway, rant aside, let's get to the fix. Because of editing purposes, I have to slow down the footage. So, this is very important. If you haven't already figured out a way to get into the main folder, you're going to need to get into the binaries of, of the game. So, specifically, when you get to this part of the folder, like the internal contents, the Silent Hill F folder, and this is across every Unreal Engine game, by the way, there's a main folder that you're going to need to access. So, albeit the Silent Hill F folder, it, it's named a specific way. So, that's where the main 
exe is located. So now you have access to the, the main folder that you're going to need to. And this is across, again, every Unreal Engine game. You're going to need to do this for like the, the, the fix. So go ahead, grab the two files that you downloaded, drag them, copy them over wherever to the specific location. This go across every Unreal Engine game, you're going to need to do this in order to fix the lighting on mobile chips, such as the ROG Ally. And then you're going to need to obviously close out the folder. And then we're going to go ahead and launch the game. And I can obviously launch it with like the fix. One thing I forgot to mention is, of course, you're going to need Winmar to extract the files. I don't think using the built-in extractor is going to be recommended. But who knows? I don't know. From my experience, Winmar works better. So launching the game and also link to the game down in the description. It, like, it's just, I think it launches tomorrow but if you get the deluxe edition like i did you'll get a couple of days early anyway so far launching into the game no problems now difference with the screen the the start menu screen just like i showed you before you notice like the the lighting looks a little bit better we're not done yet so remember when i stated that earlier pay attention to the frame rate as well as like the specific areas well i've already shown you a comparison but now we're also going to be showcasing everything looks a little better obviously and now it's around 10 fps difference around it's around 30 ish fps if you turn the lumen lighting down to like high settings i think you'll you'll be okay with the frame rate it's right i'd recommend just high preset so obviously i've already showed you this you guys have already seen what it looks like it looks a lot better in my opinion now in general the gameplay wise i'm really enjoying it and i think it's worth picking up this in general and obviously like i said if you want to play it on the raw alley here you go uh obviously and also if you guys can give this video a like and comment below what you think please let me know what you think about the game in general because i think it's great you know i'm not gonna i would say it's a from my experience playing this it's like an eight out of ten so far i'm enjoying it the combat at most it's okay i guess but the gameplay and the story is where it's at for me graphically it's great too you know the, the camera doesn't show justice but when you're actually playing in game then you'll see what i mean so this is obviously with the the fix applied everything is now intact i do have the game locked at 15 watt tdp and also i did if in case you guys haven't seen it yet i did the 74 watt battery upgrade link down in the description to that if you guys want to go ahead and see that it's under the resources tab but in general this cool i finally i i was just i'm glad i found a fix so that maybe i can share it with you guys and hopefully help some people out on fixing the the major issue and this goes across like i st stated every unreal engine game obviously the, like y'all don't want to run into that issue so i have a specific settings that i have a specific set of settings if you guys care if you guys can continue watching from here or otherwise if you guys don't want to watch any further you guys don't have to but we're going to go ahead and go over to my graphic settings and then we're going to set this to 30 fps obviously and what i have it set to is everything set to high i did have it on very high until i looked closely and noticed something was a little odd fsr is set on performance it still looks gr great in my opinion and uh yeah it still holds up you know with the fix included it still holds up i'm actually enjoying silent hill f so far i haven't decided if i wanted to stream it or not I haven't streamed lately i still need to finish driver 76 by the way i'm gonna probably delete the previous streams of that and just start a new game on driver 76 and restream that game from start to finish and then get to san francisco next hopefully otherwise it's pretty much it for me uh if you guys did enjoy the video give it a like subscribe if you're new comment what you think about the game and i'll chat with you guys next time peace